Hey guys, I know it's been a while. Uh, this is kind of a big day for me. You, this is like uh, one of the hardest things I had to do in my life. It's been part of the family for a long time. Oh, glad you could show up. What do you want? I need somebody to hold the camera for me. Your brother's not available. No, we're not helping you, Dan. Come on. You, you have us come all the way over here and you want us to film? You owe me. You owe, no, you owe me. How much money did I give you for that business? How much money did you just cost me from barging in the office and destroying crap? That was minimal, but what I put into that business. Now here, take the camera. On, I don't care if it's you yet. or Nick. Just we're take not the camera. For my channel, he doesn't work. You don't here. work. No, he Nick, doesn't work for you, Dad. What are you even doing? Well, technically, if I loaned you money, Where's, he works get for you. Jeffrey, get then, Jeffrey. Hey, he works for me. That is not the case at all. This is Nick. Your take channel. the camera. Take Nick, the camera. Nick, sir, Dad, Come where's on. Jeffrey? Get Jeffrey to film. He's busy right now. All they need is a favor. Once in a while, it's all What are you even for. filming? It's Walk probably anti-story fire. It is an anti-story fire. Nick, it's about no, me. Nick, Nick, Nick seriously, no. come over here. Get behind what? me. That. No, I don't want you in the camera. Get behind Nick. If you want to face me, here, no, you get behind him. I don't want that garb in the in the shot. Oh my God. All right, come on, walk with me. I don't even know what we're, you're filming, Dad. Hey, this is a big day. This this thing this business has been in the family for 25 years. It funded a lot of stuff for you, what you your what mother, you me, and JT. I don't know what you're JT. saying. I'm shutting down the business. What? The lawn mine? Ridgeway Lawn Service is shutting down after 25 years. It's kind of a big day. You know how much this provided for the family? All you right. Know, I, you always need extra income because right. God knows you guys always wanted the best of everything. So this is this is a big day for me. All right. Are you going to talk to them or me? Because I thought I wasn't in this. Well, you're the one that came up to it. You were supposed all to be right, behind All right. You called Nick. us. All right. I'm behind Nick guiding him. I got all this equipment here. It's it's kind of you know a Don't big part of my them, life. Then. Well, talk you're looking them. at me. What am no, I supposed if you to were do? Talk to me. I'm in it. Hey guys, it's a big time of the year for me. It's springtime, so it's kind of nostalgic and things like that because, you know, every year I've always, always prepping for a big season for mowing and, you know, landscaping and things like that. Usually by this time I got, I got like 25 or 30 cubic yards of mulch lying out here. And again, I always had to do it by myself because always somebody was always too busy to help me. You know, yeah, you're not looking at me now, are you? But no, I always had to do things by myself because it was always begging for my kids to help me. But again, I was fine with it. But this is part of it. I got all this equipment out here. You know, over the years, I used to have more of it, but this is what I got left. So if any guy, anybody's interested in buying some of Psycho Dad's equipment, I may put it up. I may not. Depends on what I need and things like that. But yeah, it's kind of uh, amazing to me how. You're how, just rambling at this point. Well, that's what I do. What am I supposed to do? This is how I do it. Right? Nick, film I ramble. Too, this is no, just, get out of it. This is just lame. Well, is you it want lame? To, if you're going to keep Here, addressing... Look, look at this quip. Look, over the years I got th this big uh, old yeller. Look at this. Old yeller right here. Is that its name? Well, it's yellow. Old yeller. Remember the yeah, dog? Yeah, it used to be pink too. To shoot the old dog? pinky? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, <laughs> somebody, Swift, painted my mower. But that was real fun because I had to ride around with it pink for a while, didn't I? Again, nobody cared about me because this is the year of me. Oh, and Terry, my wife, of course. So, and then we got the old Junker Honda that I probably won't use anymore because uh, basically I'm going to mow my lawn with the big mower. I got all my weed whackers and blowers. Look, over the years, I'm so cheap because I was trying to save money. I had to duct tape the stinking hose together. What's that one named? Old Blowy? Yeah, that's called Old Blowjob. Nah, are you serious? Yeah, Old Blowjob. Pull the cord and you get the blowjob of your lifetime. What the f and these are hedge trimmers. I got chainsaws. Oh, over here is the little lady of chainsaws. This is a 14 inch. What is this video right now? This is the handheld for trimming all the bushes and trees and things like that. Is Jeffrey going to be here? He's supposed to be here, but until then, this is mixed fuel, guys. Remember, 50 to 1. Steel, mixed fuel, no mix. Did Miguel suddenly start a gasoline steel, business? Steel products use a 50 to 1 mix. So this is a 51 mix. See, I always knew because look how nasty that gas can looks. So all my products are steel products. So if steel products wants to follow me, sweet. I'll take anything they give. So, and then I got the tractor, of course. Finally paid that off, made the last payment in December. So technically the new Holland is mine. And this is my play toy for the weekend. I love going out in the woods and tearing the out of everything. As you see over there, this past weekend, here, Nick, come on. You gotta, you gotta follow me a little bit. Okay. Look over to the in the backwoods there. Look over in the backwoods. See all yeah. that stuff that's been cleared out, and pushed out, and all. See all that dirt. Yeah. That's been how my weekends are. Because again, you know what this is? This is the year of me. This isn't the year of Jesse. This isn't the year of JT. It's the year of me. Oh, and Terry, of course. She tells me when I can have the year of me. 
So we got other stuff in here. And this is kind of comical here. You'll enjoy this one. Hey Jess, go get the weed whacker. You remember what that looked like? Remember you used to have little problems with it? I don't want to do this, Dad. I want to be a YouTuber. All right, so, to be fair, so, uh, how's your hearing these days? My hearing's well. Oh yeah, both ears? Get the weed whacker. Look, this is, this is how it went. Dad, could you start this for me? Hey, Dad, the string's out. Can you come do it? So, again, the times Jess helped me when he complained the whole time, it was always, hey, uh, Dad, could you stop mowing the banks or the shopping center and do things like that to help me? Could you stop everything you're doing so you could put the string in? Look, you this is the this first time because I'm about to break this head. out of it. Now, I know he couldn't start it now because it hadn't run all season. It probably won't start, so I won't ask him to do so. But this is, a, this is kind of nostalgic for me just to look at Jesse holding a weed whacker. Yeah. Look, that's the same face you had when I asked you to do it the last five, six, seven years, right? But again, if you think about it, and this in the big picture, this funded a lot of stuff for the family. A lot of, you know, when you guys were in college, if you guys wanted to work and make money, this was there. We wanted to go on trips, because every year we always did the shore, we did the Poconos skiing, we went, you know, Mexico, all this, all this was paid for by extra money that all was right, made originally. Alright, if you want to do it legit, I mean, you're just talking the whole, nobody's going to watch this. No, they will, they like it. Alright, well look, if you're Because this is all honest shit that I'm trying to tell you, you of okay, our family right, life. I, res I can understand and respect that, so oh, if you, you want to... you respect it, that's good, I love to hear the re word Alright, if you want us to film it legit though, well, how about we could do it interview style, and you could t sit on your freaking mower and we can... I don't need can... to sit on my... I spent my whole life sitting on that mower. No. 25 years. If you want to In 1995, this... I jumped on that well, mower. Well, sit out nostalgia. Sit, sit back on your throne then, King. And see, see the sad part about it is this was at the time, I think it was $8,000 that I paid for this mower. So what happens when, when somebody decides to paint my mower pink? Or who wants to shoot, shoot fireworks off and burn my seat? $500 seat. What did I do to save money for the family so I didn't put it out? I put duct tape over it. Here, people, look. There's still a big ass hole in my seat. Did you think it was ever, a new one was ever bought for me? No. So the king's sitting in his seat now, passing judgment on everybody that's around me. Look at the pink one. I had Swift follow me around to Banks and Elmer. I had to go through a, uh, let's think, there was a fire, the fire company was out there collecting money. So I had to go past all these people I know. And here's this bright pink lawnmower sitting on my trailer that I had ride by. And they're all saying, hey, there's Gay Boy. Hey, there's this. Hey, there's that. Did I say anything? No. I did what I was supposed to. I'm a family man. Help out people, do what I do. But no, look at it, it's still pink. A stinking mower, eight grand, and then I had that painted pink. Where's the respect there? Uh -huh. Are you enjoying this? Are you like I'm enjoying getting this? Because this... you know why? Because I was put in the king's chair. So the king has his moment in of glory. So what else around here? Did Oh, what about someone took my tractor? Look at the tractor over there. The front end's all bent the hell up too because somebody decided to learn learn how to drive it without even having any lessons and ram the hell it's out of it. part of the series, me. all right? It doesn't matter. It's still things that we did and it was wrecked. Now look at it. Pink, bent up front end of a tractor. $20,000 tractor, character. it's all bent up. Yeah, it's a character. But again, I might as well have my moment to vent, right? Because the king's in his throne. All right, you or got on your channel throne. now. Right. Yeah. But again, on a serious note, after 25 years, Ridgeway's Lawn Service is no longer uh, going to be a business. I sent the letters out probably two to three weeks ago to all my customers and let them know that I would no longer be doing it. I got, I got a few thank you notes, which I thought I'd get more because you provide a service to the people. And again, only a few thank you notes, which I uh, was kind of didn't understand that. So, but again, it was, a, it, was a good, it was a good business for the family and I always try to do the best I can, always having two jobs to provide for the family. And that's, you know, that's part of it. Back in the day, I tried to get the boys involved in this more of a business aspect because I've always thought that this was a well-run business. At, at the time, in 1995, when I started this business, uh, it started out small and a lot of people try to try to overdo it and they try to go big quickly. It doesn't work that way. You keep your regular job when you start the business. Then you work the business that you're trying to build as it grows. Then you decide to exit the job you had before. All right, yeah, I've, you can just talk about your own personal experience. No, I think that's anybody in business is, you know, don't dive in fully. So what I'm saying is I thought it was ran well because back in the day, uh, back in the, in the early 90s, in the, 
year 2000, we had 70 weekly accounts. 70 weekly accounts, that was nine different banks, that was shopping centers, plus it was snow removal, landscaping, hardscape, EP Henry, we did it all. So, you know, if you if you take your time and you build your business slowly and with, uh, you know, you know a little bit of logic and uh, understanding of business concepts and things like that, you wouldn't get into positions where you're, you know, borrowing money from family. All right, well, was your business always making money? No, at the time, in the beginning, it wasn't. That's why I created or stayed with the job I had, you know, because I knew I had an income with the job I had. Now, figure, figure back in the day, I worked for the federal government, I did a uh, tour with the federal government. I did a tour with the state government. I did a tour with the gov local government. I did a tour with the uh, the county government. So, you know, I always kept my regular job and then also had or had this job on the side. So logically, you should have considered keeping a job that pays your bills. All right, well, logically, how many clients did you ever have? Or did you have a business that was servicing hundreds of thousands? No, I had a business that was servicing 70 weekly accounts, which paid for everything you see around you. At one time, I had six employees, and I had two trucks, two trailers that ran constantly. So uh, with my regular job that paid the bills, I also then scheduled for all the the other employees that worked in the business, plus I kept my own schedule and worked weekends and nights for the last 25 years to keep this business afloat and keep the, my family and the lifestyle they're accustomed to, which is, you know, the lifestyle has always been up here, you know, so I had to work a lot of hours. That's why I get back to it, it's the, the year of me. It's time to think about me and my wife and our, you know, our small group and the dogs, of course, because, you know, nobody cared about us. The trips were fun that we got as a as a result of the cutting of grass. Who would have thought, right, that cutting grass could unlock such Come great adventures? I'm serious. If you're not gonna be honest, quit being a character. You're not a character. I'm not being. All right, all right, no, all right. I'm not being a character just because I'm on. Right. Track. I'll be honest. I'm very concerned about what my dad's gonna do this time. Like. Just the idea of that man having free time and being able to choose what he does with it is very scary to me. And like I said, like I think like he needs physical exercise. So if he's not getting physical exercise from this, he's going to be doing something, or he has to do something. Otherwise, it's just a health risk. I remember back when he originally like gave it to me, and then the idea of like him doing it again, and. Then, like, I think he was like hoping like Jesse was gonna take it up, but then Jesse only did it for like five, six days. And then dad was back on the horse, like mowing lawns and everything. He honestly needed that physical activity. It's a blessing in disguise. I'm so happy that Jeff is finally closing the business. We, we wanted to do it for years, but we couldn't. And now that he's got this YouTube and we had the revenue coming in, he can close the business, he can have weekends free, um, and he can entertain, do more videos. And I just wanted to say thank you because if it wasn't for you guys, it, this would not be happening. Yeah, I always, I, I always had problems in the, in the uh, winter because, uh, you know, when you have snow contracts, it's always the worst, worst uh, time. It was always in the middle of the night or real early in the morning. So I always counted on my sons to help me with snow removal. Um, so. Usually I'd wake them up at two or three in the morning in which neither one of them were very appreciative of that. So we would go out two or three in the morning and they were always hard to wake up. It's basically dragging them out of bed and they would shovel the walks at the local businesses or the shopping center and things like that. So yeah, one day we're out there uh, at one of our local banks and it's a blizzard, like we got 24, 25 inches. So the walks are all done. So I plow all the parking lots and I'm looking around. I said to JT, I said, where's your brother? I haven't seen him in about an hour. So we're riding around. So, uh, you know, as a father, you panic. You start looking where the, where the heck, you know, where the hell is he? And then, because you figure, uh, did, did something fall off the roof and hit him, icicles, or did I plow him up in the parking lot or something like that? He's in the back of the uh, bank doing snow angels in a big mound of uh, snow. I play in the snow, and that's what I would do most of the time. There, there was one time I got sick as hell in the back because it was like my dad would have the heat cranked up to like 100 degrees, like a sauna in there and he's driving recklessly, doing donuts in the parking lot, plowing shit, running into shit, plow backwards, plow back into stuff. I got sick, I remember I had to bail out of the truck, put my face, bury my face in the snow, 
Um, you were making snow angels. Say, you weren't sick. I was a kid. It literally had yeah, me work when I'm like 10 years memory. old. So like even like in the winter months when like we'd get like a snowfall, we'd have to go out like three, like four o'clock in the morning before all the businesses opened. And I remember I would always be shoveling because I, I like to shovel. My dad would be plowing and uh, Jesse would be off in some sort of snow mound uh, doing snow angels and trying to bury himself and not really contributing towards anything. And then occasionally there'd be somebody else that was plowing. They'd come over and they'd be like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah I'm plowing the, plowing the drive. My son's over there shoveling. And like, oh, what about that? What about that one? Like, oh, yeah, he's... He, he's moving the snow around with his arms. <laughs> Good times. And somehow Jesse always got paid for that too. I never understood that because he didn't do anything. I think back in the day, they were, you know, when, when rates are probably eight or ten dollars, they were getting fifteen dollars an hour. Snowstorms, they'd always get fifty or hundred dollars. And then they could come home and go right to bed. I would go to my other job and work all day, then come back out and uh, plow till you know late at night. So. You know, they, they had the luxury of having a, a job that was basically ready for them at any given time. And uh, if, if they wanted to be part of it, they always had that option all through school and, you know, high school and, and college. So I always thought this was a great business for the family and easy for the kids. But, you know, some sometimes uh, some people didn't want you know to be part of the business. So I didn't want to do any of it ever. There, how's that? Well, that's, that's the only funny. truth I've seen. Go ahead, give me some more. Yeah, oh my know, God, this you is know what it meant for your father to do all that. Yeah, it didn't have anything to do with me, though. And, stuff, and, and that he's not going to be doing it anymore, so it's Kate, kind of you like, want to do an interview? You know, and, and what it meant I feel for the good, family. A feel good video. This is why I don't do this shit, Nick. <laughs> this is a piece of shit. <laughs> you gonna always start this? It's just like old times, isn't it? Dad, stop working again. Dad? Dad! Did you let go of the handle? No. Uh, this is usually what I do, and then you I. Check the gas? I have him do it. Here we go. Huh? Did you check the gas? I don't know. Yeah. I can't even get it's not even caught in anything. Yeah, I was trying to think as uh, Terry and I were talking uh, a few weeks ago when we sent the letters out to all the customers, it's basically uh, you know, bittersweet to shut the business down. Um, you know, I, I've I've had so many customers over the year and a lot of local people. I've seen a lot of my, you know, uh, friends, basically their parents that were getting elderly that they would call me up and say, hey, could you go mow my uh, parents' lawn or something because they can't get out there or they had a stroke. So a lot of my customers over the years were elderly people and, uh, and you, you become friends with them. You become, uh, you know, somebody they could talk to, things like that. So a lot of times when you get done mowing their lawn or, or weed whacking or whatever the case may be, they'd want to come out and talk to you and chat for a while. And I think that was, I'm going to miss that the most because I enjoyed a lot of the older people have a lot of wisdom and a lot to uh, give, you know, give to the younger generation. And back in the day, I was younger generation, not so much now, but you know, it means a lot when an older person wants to come out and explain their, you know, back in the day for them or what their life's like now and things like that. It, it opens your eyes to what's really going on in the world. My dad was obsessed with it. Maybe that's where I get a lot of my obsession. Uh, he lived and breathed grass clippings. I mean, the dude, I remember, he'd come home uh, covered in that shit. Uh, it'll be all over his legs. It's disgusting. It's filthy. But I don't think it mattered. He was like, you know, whatever it took to get the job done and to please the customer. And the customers usually were elderly women. And I think there was a slight fetish there going on where he actually really enjoyed hearing old women flatter him, talk about how cute he was or how much of a good job he did. And he would actually get tips based on that. So I think he had... He had a, I think you're stretching. I think you get a, a rush here. 
Remember, it's from the heart. On Porn's grandma. Porn's grandma, though. Um. She did ask you to plow her. She did what? Remember? Yeah. Could you come plow me? Yeah. Uh huh. I've always admired his work ethic, and that he was always there for his customers. He has a lot of older customers, and I know that probably bothered him um, to tell them because he had me write a letter that he was not going to be doing it anymore. So I know that bothered him to where like he was letting them down. Uh, and I don't know why I'm getting emotional about it because I really shouldn't. I mean, he did a good job for him for a long time. I think the best part of it is when I would be able to uh, be like working and seeing my sons out there with me. It meant the most to me because uh, whether we were doing mulch or whether we were doing lawns or whether we, you know, snow removal, whatever the case may be, any time a father can see his sons out there working for him it's, or with him, basically, it was never, I never tried to consider it for me, but with me, um, was, was very touching, emotional, and uh, I think that's the hardest part to, you know, give up as the, as the boys grew up is uh, going to be missing that part of it. Um, when I actually was cutting lawns, uh, I would, it was, it was mainly me and my dad. I, I didn't work with Jeffrey too much, thankfully, but it was me and dad, and I would have to just usually use the push mower. I think it was one of those things he, he got to just ride, he just sat on his ass and ride around and basically play a glorified video game operating some joysticks, because that's what he was used to, uh, like Pong stuff with joysticks. I mean, now you get him trying to operate two Xbox sticks. That's too much for him, but he would just sit and just operate this stuff. Meanwhile, I got to do the backbreaking labor of weed whacking and push mowing. So your ass you know, didn't backbreak anything. You I mean, it's it. very convenient to say, "Oh, I'm spending time with my kids," when realistically, uh, he just had his kids working for him, which I think he slipped up at one point and said that. People questioned me over the years of why I would start a lawn landscape business, and and, and it, it took me back to when I was a kid, like 12 years old. I used to work at the le local feed mill. Uh, basically at 12 cleaning bathrooms I would work at the uh, uh, for my my relative uncle out on uh, in Monroeville doing hay and straw and things like bail on that but I started with the, lo the local people doing lawns right up the street of me because my dad wouldn't let me you know basically take the lawnmower anywhere so I had to st stay on our block so I started mowing and that's basically what I did when I all through my teenage years I had like 10 lawns by the age of 14 and I was making money basically hand over fist because I was working, cleaning the bathrooms at the mill. I was doing 10 lawns a year. I was just pocketing a, a boatload of cash as a kid and it was just amazing. So when, when I got to the point in my adult life and I said, you know, hey, what's, what's a good business to start? I just remember back, I, I always enjoyed being outside and, you know, tinkering and, uh, so I, and mowing. So I figured, hey, what the hell, might as well start a lawn business. So I, it was not for me, but the fact that he was able to uh, maintain this simplistic attitude towards it of like, this matters, even though it's just cutting grass. It's so ridiculous to be made such it's a big deal out of. It's not just cutting grass. There's a lot of people throughout the world that do this for a living, so don't degrade them for their what they do. You know, I look back at some of the equipment I've had over my my uh, 25 years. I've had, uh, you know, I had belt drives. I had uh, I had uh, stand up models. I had zero turns. I had I had a Bobcat with a Pico Baggard system on it. You know, but I still say this mower, the Hustler I'm on right now, the Zero Turn 60 with a 27 horse Kawasaki, is the best best mower for the buck. I this thing does everything I've needed it to. I love sitting on it. And my my big thing is when I mow lawns is the striping. When you go back and you cut that wheel and you come back and start doing the lawns and start striping it, you can see when you go past a, a quality lawn cut, you'll see those lawn, lawn stripes are straight. And then every week you cut them, you, you change it because you don't want the wheels to leave ruts in the lawn. So my, my favorite things has always been the uh, zero turn mower and this, this one right here has been my, my favorite after all the years. Even though I've, I think I've had eight different zero turns, but uh, the Hustler I think is the best Best bang for the buck. Like if you think about it, if you have like a two acre lawn, you're going back and forth and back and forth. You can just zone out. You just like, like he, he would always say that you can solve the world's problems on a lawnmower, which is a hilarious quote, by the way. You guys can use that. And, and, I, and to some degree, I can relate to that because I remember like cutting old Doc Mills uh, 
lawn, which would take like about like an hour, 15 minutes, just sitting on a lawnmower going back and forth and just trying to like rationalize and figure out uh, like all the conspiracy theories on the show Lost. That was a great time. There is a big value in doing something you really don't want to do because it teaches you some level of discipline. It's like resistance training. And if anything, it kind of helped me uh, go inward. I didn't like my outward, so it helped me go inward and retract and think about what I actually would want to do. So doing what I didn't want to do and being forced to do that helped me realize what I did want. And if anything, made me work a lot harder when I did have that thing that I wanted because I remembered how fucking miserable it was mowing lawns with my dad. <laughs> It was fine doing it with him, but I would much rather film a video with him than cut fucking grass. All right, guys, wait till you see this. This is this is nostalgia at its best. Was it your first blade of grass you clipped? No, 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 no. This side was made by Mrs. Stahlberger 25 years ago. Oh God, Jesus! Look at this. You want us to show that right now? I don't care, that number's gone. They already got into that and called it so many times that we had to get rid of it. But 25 years ago, wow. she made that for us. So what did you do? Where was this? Uh, I think I put it in the garage on the shelf because I didn't really want to put it out front. You didn't even market it? I mean, the whole yeah. point, talking to me about running a business the best part of market it. You know, best, what best part is this? Yo. Are you filming something for Storyfire? Ah, no, no, he's no, not, no, he's not on freaking Storyfire. No, I asked him to do it. No, 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 give me this, give me this. No, leave it alone, leave it alone, give it back to Nick. Why? I called your brother, he owes me, so. We're filming. What do you mean he owes? He put money in the story for her and it's so for So I dads. called in a favor because you were still working, so. It's, it's for the lawn mowing right. business. Give it back to Nick, thank well, you. We're not editing this, we're not editing not, this. Definitely not editing this. Not editing it, how much crap footage do you guys have in oh, here? Oh, we gave you loads. Nick like filmed dad like just like breaking leaves and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I was on every piece of equipment and I was cutting down trees, thing, things like that for the, you know, the close out of the business. You remember it well, you spent a lot of years doing it. I, I remember. Yeah, Jeffrey, remember. look, the first sign. Yep. Come on, get over Never went out front. I think that pissed, pissed wow. off Mrs. Stahlberger too because I never put it, you know. This is, this is something. Good yeah, good this, this is quite the moment. Because you're the only one that cared. The other one didn't care. Oh my yeah, that's God. true. All through right. college, he, he told me. He said, seven years? Wow, indentured servant to the landscaping. Uh -huh. What did you do, like seven days? I actually probably put no, that out time no, in a while. I don't think so. I think he did mm. about six and a half and then he quit. How was it for you, Jeffrey? It was everything, everything you ever. I got enjoyed. a nice tan. All the lovely ladies got to see me shirtless as I'm mowing the lawns. Bank ladies eh? used to call and say, "Hey, tell your son to not wear a shirt next week when he's there." Mm -hmm. So that was yeah. part of the, you know, the deal. I was distracting. I was very distracting. But Jess, he he did actually last probably six or seven days. Yeah, I was thinking maybe five actually. Uh, maybe so this is hour. oh, you know what? Let's get Jeffrey has a very uh, fond experience. Maybe we should get I an interview for him. Experience. Let's get a thirty-minute interview for Jeffrey that he can cut through. Yeah, good thing yeah, I'm such a talkative that. person. Yeah. Wait a minute. Let me. One thing that JT told me back in the day, he said, "Dad, I would do this full time forever if it paid more." That was it. Yeah, no, I you legit enjoyed it, right? do that. Yeah. Oh, so it pays like crap? No, I was, I was thinking back in the day it was like 12 Like any business, now. like any business, Jesse, as you could definitely attest to, <laughs> it's, it's what you put into it. Yep. How much you, yeah, right, much, right. It is how much you put into it. Yeah, how much yeah. you put in. in, 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 in. A lot. Wow. So that means God knows I put in a lot to uh -huh. it too. Right, well the more you put in, the more you get out, right? So, yeah, yeah. you just gotta put mm -hmm. it in, right? Take it up. So now I got to work an extra five years because I borrowed against my pension, right? <laughs> now, yeah. All right. So there's a yeah, lot riding on it. Right, you're turning the whole video. All right, I'm ready to write it. Nick let's and I got this. story fire stuff to do. So okay, let's. Yeah, yeah. All right, Nick. Like, where, where where the, the cameras around? on Jeffrey. Jeffrey wants an interview. Let's I do mean, it. You're gonna probably cut. You. That's all gonna be you talking anyway. So where do you want to do it at, Dad? Where do you want him to do it? Do you want Jeffrey? Hey. It's up to your brother. Motor, it's your right? video. Do you want Jeffrey talking about stuff? Yeah, I don't mind you talking about it. All right, where should we do that at? There's a lot of memories on this. Wow. All right, let's have you sit on the side of it. Oh, right, wow, my old bicycle. Look at this. A lot of memories. Is on he this. really going to include his dad? He's hey, kind of derailing it. That's mine. Hmm. 
Yeah, I thought see? it was community bicycle. Don't ham it up for the video. See, we're trying to help give you a good bit. All right, Jeffrey, oh, sit on. Wow. Oh, yeah. I don't know why I'm trying. Why are we doing oh, this? Why are we here? What is right? happening? Oh, yeah. Big stuff. I think they're just wasting our time on purpose. Bro. He's testing my patience right now. I don't even know. All right, Nick, get like a static what? shot. All right. Oh, fucking Corona, dude! Oh, oh that's fuck! Like that. Oh, fuck! He's just hanging out. Remember that from Psycho Series? All right, you I'm killed bad. that I'm bat. You killed that bat. My dad's literally fucking going inside right now. I told you it was beer 30 again. I had an empty. Interfere your first. All right, Jeffrey, just say some shit about the business. Try and be serious, because, you know, you're. Try and be serious. Whew. All right. Yeah, because Dad was like getting choked up when we were interviewing him and stuff. So like, I don't know. If you say some jokey stuff, he's probably gonna like cut you well, out of the channel. Salary season. Everyone's getting choked up. All, All right. right. Well, I don't know what else more. What do you else do you want? Get off the mower. What? It's time to park it for the last time. Yeah, because you don't do uh, night mows. I don't think that's safe. No, it doesn't have headlights. Yeah. yeah. You I mean, could. We did have headlights. I, I bet you could. Remember, Jeffrey. it's like beer 33 times so far, so I wouldn't All go right. out and do this stuff. So. Jesus. Yeah, of course. Are you going to the house? I got this. Nah. No, yeah, go in the house. Go ahead, guys. I, I got this. Got Nick, what? you can stay. I want to park it for the last time. Let him get out of your shot first. Yeah, see? Knows he's gotta turn around all the time. Hey guys, this is just me and you guys talking and Nick listening, which hopefully he won't go back and tell my boys, but uh, they'll say it on video, what's the difference? Um, yeah, it's kind of uh, bittersweet ending this. You know, it's been part of the family for so long and a lot of, a lot of good times with my sons and you know, I can, you know, make up stories or whatever the case may be or what's real, but this this is real. It's been a very good, a very prosperous business for the family. And, uh, you know, it, it kind of hurts to shut it down, but I think it's time. Now, my words of wisdom to everybody out there, uh, I was very lucky to spend so much time with my sons growing up and being involved in their lives. And what I'm telling you right now is be part of your parents' lives, get involved, uh, you know, because like being a, being a dad and, and, and your sons are, you know, involved in just about everything with college, sports, you know, we, we travel all over God's creation for sports, soccer, basketball, baseball, whatever the case may be. Talk to your parents. You know, they're not bad people. You know, a great, sometimes they don't make the right decisions, but they're trying all the time. Get out there and get involved with them. You know, talk to them. Walk out to the, the dinner table or walk into the other room. Whether you got a mom and dad or whether you just got a mom or a dad, it doesn't matter. Or a grandparent, it doesn't matter. Just talk to them. Because like, a lot of kids in this day and age just go in a room and then forget about their parents and then basically bash their parents for making stupid decisions, things like that. Like again, they're trying. So my words of advice, and again, I'm very lucky to be involved with my kids. Go and be involved with your parents' life. Ask them questions, talk to them. They're doing the best they can. So again, thank you for watching. We appreciate all you've done for the family. And again, just reach out to your parents. They love you and they'll do anything for you. My words of advice, thanks. Oh, thank God that's over with. Hey John, you wanna go for a walk, buddy? We done? Oh, we were filming you freaking long for like three hours. Well, why don't you do an interview? Oh, you got oh, to talk want... with him? Yeah. That is so good. You know, he's been so nervous about this. You didn't know what to say. He's been wow. tossing and turning, not sleeping. What do you mean I was nervous? You were nervous. You didn't know what to say. You didn't have, you have to tell him that. Wow, for just one video. Yeah, but of it's, I'm, I'm very happy that they they're helping you out. Oh, I'm happy. Can't there you see it in go. my face? Yeah, we're what real happy about it. So are we good to go? Why don't you do an interview? I pretty much I did. and heckle, heckle me. I have doing my gig. Yeah, well, I haven't done much for the business. This is a really kind of... big deal to him. He was he's been talking about this. For months. All right. Oh, Guilt me more. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Go Guilt me more. Go sit in your mom's more. chair and do an interview.
But there's a lot better location than that if you want us to do it right. But you don't want to move for it right there. Do it. All right, as long as Jeffrey stops smiling like a freaking ridiculous. He's had that smile since what? What, 30 years? All right, Nick, are going to light this place up or something? I'm so happy. Yeah, I hope, yeah, yeah, I hope so. Up. Will you, huh? Yeah, make your yeah. nervous turn smile ever happen. Yeah. 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 Turn, turn the light on. Like, I don't know why you want not mine. Why am I not saying like, anything good? <laughs> all right, all right, Nick. We don't let's keep a steady shot. Oh yeah, yeah. Justice. All right, Nick. Yeah. Keep a steady shot. Can you take your right, shirt off? What shirt, Mario? Buddy. What do you mean? Take it off. This is not an advertisement. This is for us. I'm this wearing my freaking you. merch, Dad. Huh? Yeah. Well, we don't need it on our site. Come on, go ahead, take it off. It's not that. I'm happy. Come on. All right. So really, you got another stay lit shirt. This is all I wear anymore. Why don't you change your garb every once in a while? I'm not changing. Close no. all the time. Yeah, I actually do because yeah, it's good. It for me. Do something or take it off. I'm not taking off the shirt. Your video gets demonetized. Let's see about Ridgeway's lawn service. This all right, is, yeah, this, this is, is the video. Well, I haven't done Ridgeway's lawn service down here. here, so I can't. Put that over it. Are you kidding me? No. You that like is my bit. own. You're a business owner, or were. Maybe you should respect the fact that I'm trying to do marketing. I am respected. This is for me, though. All right, you this guy kept me. an old sign in his garage of his business for promotion, and he kept it covered up by fucking dead bats and dust. Right. So. I think that that looks better than the uh, right. Stanley shirt. Right. Wow. Do you hear that, Mom? All right. You feel, really want me to feel good? All Remember, right. it's the year of me. Woohoo! So the whole experience you did learn from learn something from it, correct? Yes. And you learned that you wanted to aspire to be better than what you were seeing and what, you, what we were doing. That is correct. Then it was worth my while to push you to do that. Right. So guys, look, if we're doing a takeaway, this is for them. If your parents make you do something you don't want to do, we're not dismissing the fact that it sucks. But, crazy as it sounds, it may actually be beneficial in the long run. Like, I don't want to have to uh, be doing this interview right now, but perhaps it's beneficial in the long run. And I don't want to have to do 30 push-ups, but it's probably good that I do that. So, maybe open the mind up towards uh, what your parents are saying that you should have to do. And maybe have a different perspective on it. It might be good. All right, that's all I got. I don't think mom said anything, so. It bothered me that he had to go. We'd be on vacation and he would have to go if it snowed. We'd be in Pocono skiing and then the snowstorm was coming and he'd have to go home and plow driveways, banks, you know, and then uh, miss the whole vacation. Well, not the whole vacation, but it seemed like it and I would be pissed about it. Everything else, mom? No, I'll think about it later. I will. Good, good thoughts come later too. Okay. Are we good? Are you good? Yeah. I mean, Dad, we've been filming. I've got like an hour's worth from each person. Are I didn't even know I could say. Come over and video this right, for well, me. And you, because you, God knows you owe me. No, it's because we got to roll, dude. John's been at the office for the last freaking Who six hours. Who cares hour. about John? This is family stuff. Yeah. Well, your business is over. We still got to run ours. Oh, my business they, is over. So Jeffrey, yeah, you got we'll no, pop the car out. Nothing. We'll pop the car out, you can edit all this crap. 25 years that I put into this. Okay. I busted my ears It's overblown. It's, you know, it's also it's overblown. overblown. It's like cutting it's grass and everything. Yeah. Yeah, it's overblown okay. for you, but it's been you know, right. Alright, I'm proud of you. Was that was that, that hard? I'm proud of you for running the, that long. I hope I can Well that I appreciate. Right? I mean it's a Come on, everybody in. Let's no. go. No. Did you appreciate it? Yes, yeah, I'm not joining in a family group hog. Get in here. Get no, your ass in here. I don't it's all part of the game. Get in here. Oh. I mean, he gave you money. Yeah, I got paid. He did. Oh, yeah, you got paid. That's yeah, so everything. All right. Proud of you. Shut down the business. All right. It's all about family. Right? Ridge, way, Ridge, no, way. No, Appreciate no, this. No, 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 no. All right. I am kind of sick, actually. What? Are you closing us off? Oh yeah. yeah. It's your fucking video. Jesus Christ. Remember, appreciate all the fans. He's new. See you on this side of the gravel. Take care. Everything will be in the uh, links and pers just uh, uh, the
What? What is it? Come on, help me out here. You guys do it all the time. Links and descriptions. Oh, it'll be in the no. links and descriptions? Is that, is that what it is? I'll just put a caption in here. Did he say links in the prescription? I think I said, yeah, because I was you worried about You need to my, get your prescription. That's, oh, it's my blood pressure pill. I was worried about it because I didn't have it in the last couple days, so I get a little... He's got a little trumpitis. Yeah, I got a little issue. All right. All right? So that's what it is. But either way, that's my closing now. See you on this side of the gravel. All right. Nick's yeah. smiling, so it must be good. Yeah, he's just trying to be nice. No, he isn't. Luna's not no, smiling. No, Nick's always smiling. He's always touching shit. And he's being Luna's nice. like, freak the fuck out. Like right? You. Jeffrey, you're going to have a lot of editing to do in this. You do. Thanks. Remember, because remember back Thanks then when I said cut him. this, when I dropped the camera in Atlantic City, you didn't do it. You made me look like a total ass. That was funny. I, oh, <laughs> all right, so that's what it's all about. All right. Alright, edit it, make it good. No, I'm going to bed. Thanks. A lot of time. Thank you for helping you. Thank you both for helping me, I appreciate it. Okay, so maybe next time you come to the office, things will be different. Would you just well, piss me off? <laughs> Alright. It was all fake. Soon, you're gonna you be got doing these guys these acting like they're working. You got the the. the, hey, the oh one. no! Okay, all right. No, just you got the it. one at the desk no, that don't no. know what she she he she she he we doing. Alright. We'll see. You know, if she wants to change her in the operation, gonna, uh, let me know. Yes, do you want to, do you want to, oh, uh, darn. I see we've done this exact same video in like no time. All right, you can officially close it off then. Fine. You know what to say, I don't. Bye. Bye. All right, guys. Jeffrey here. Jeffrey's feeling a little under the weather, but that's okay. He's going to have some carnitas. That's so. right. Links in the description. Subscribe for more content. Post a comment if you enjoyed this video and let us know your thoughts and reflections on this. Oh, all reflections? Is there anything, there's nothing else you want to add at the end of this? No. Okay, end of video. Either way, it's been good. Alright. Oh, you should do like... Yeah, we really gotta go. Like I'm saying, we gotta roll out to the office right now. You gotta see this. Look at all the YouTube revenue coming in. Woohoo! Wait, you bought this with the YouTube money? Yeah. Look, it's all computer based. No, okay. It's pretty really? Cool. Yeah. You go feel like you have to do that because I got the Tesla? Put the slides out. Put the slides out. What's that? Wait, how are you doing that? I got my own little iPad right here. Look. Huh? And it's either that or on my phone. Oh my god. Slides. Did you oh, buy no, this outright or is that the solar power? Everything's huh? charged through solar. So I got solar panels on top of the trailer. Yeah. This is what you're doing with the monthly rev. Yep. This is, this is, dude, get you're ready. You get ready. You haven't seen anything yet. Here comes the, here comes all the shit. You Bedroom getting this, Nick? You're coming out. Yeah. Shouldn't Jeffrey be filming Wait this? For it. Wait for it. You make Nick run back. You make us come back in to grab the camera and film you literally pushing a slide out. We've, I've seen this before. No, you haven't seen the inside of this baby yet. Yo, my dad's literally a typical YouTuber now. Gets his first couple checks from YouTube and blows it on a freaking look, trailer. Look, look, look at that refrigerator. Get the, the oh, get the, oh, the refrigerator on. on. Here comes the, oh, here comes the living room. All right, all right, this is actually oh. really flex. This is actually pretty nice. What the? Wait, did you buy this or is this yeah, just? Boy. This is bigger than my house. Oh my God. Wait a minute, you see nothing yet, right? The back window, say you're looking out to the water. You're down in Florida, you're looking at the keys and say, oh, I, I want to look at TV. Here comes your 50 inch TV pop down. Everything. Dad, all... you're a stereotypical YouTuber now. Look you at don't that. Need Isn't to... that sweet? You haven't seen anything. Wait till you see the uh, master bedroom. Mm. The shitter's nice too. I just want to let you know that. I thought you said there was solar in here. I don't see any lights. Oh, look at that. Look at that king size bed. What the? Wait a minute. Oh shit, forgot. See, the, the best part about this is, look, look inside. We're our, our own Wi-Fi hotspot. Huh? So what, are you gonna be uploading videos on the go? Yep, wherever I need to be. Check that shitter out. Look at in there. Mm-hmm. It's like a full shower. It's better than my shower at my house. But seriously, look at the look at the look at the fridge. Look at it. I can't open. Dude, look at the lights underneath the. Yeah.
This is so bougie. That's a 36 inch fireplace too. Throws out heat. Doing inches on his fireplace yep. now. That's a 77 inch fireplace. Did, wait a minute, did you get this full effect here? Look. Congratulations, I got that in the theater. You feeling it? Look at that. All right, we really gotta get to the office because, you know, we gotta work for a living. Oh my God, I think I'm gonna live in this. All right, we're gonna give Jeffrey back the camera in the house, but. This is Cause, good. Yeah, because your mom and I may be selling the house and just moving into this and maybe moving to Florida once retirement hits, so. Jesus Christ. So, just letting you know ahead of time. In case you come by and you see the for sale sign. Good for you, Dad. Proud All of you. Right? Proud of you. This is great. Really nice. It's nice, isn't it? Yep. This is great. All right. Tell your uh, mom sleeping out here tonight. Okay. Oh, hey, Jeffrey. Editing this. Uh, a download. Guys, download. Bro, watch this dude get fucking lazy. You watch think? him get lazy, dude. He watch him not even watch the you full thing. You should have said it in the middle of the clip. Maybe he wouldn't have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Dad, really proud of you for doing all this. And I really uh, wish you the best.